Jim, always great to have you with us. I know you were just talking with Lisa a second ago. And, of course, you were talking about the Fed. It seems to be today a day of Fed, Fed and more Fed. Are you fed up with the Fed? Of course I am. I think the Fed should be abolished. We'd be all better off without the Fed. Central banks have been heavy in the limelight for the past 10 or 15 years. In my view, their day is done. Their day is done, but who else will take the reins? You can't have a vacuum at the top. Mandy, Mandy, wait, Mandy. For many years, we didn't have a, a central bank in America. We had three central banks in American history. The first two failed, went out of business. This one's going to fail, too. It'll go out of business, too. Between Bernanke and Greenspan, its days are numbered. Bernanke should resign. Is that your view, Jim? Yeah, he should be fired. He can't fire him, unfortunately, because under the terms of his contract, he's there for another 12 years. So unless he does something really foolish... Do you think he's going to serve out a second term? As no, I think things are going to get so bad eventually they're going to get rid of him one way or the other. He'll, he'll resign, but that's, you know, that's not this year. That's, that's down the road. This so, year, they seem to have come through the crisis. So what exactly do you think he's done wrong? He's raised interest rates, he's printed money, he's taken on over something like $400 billion, Mandy, onto the Fed's balance sheet of garbage. I mean, he's going to be in his helicopter soon, flying around, collecting rents from people. And when he starts taking car loans onto the balance sheet, he's going to be collecting, he's going to be selling used cars. He's going to have to repossess cars and sell them. I mean, this is not what the Federal Reserve was supposed to do. Their mandate was to protect the dollar, one of their mandates. He has given up on the dollar, he's letting the dollar collapse, Jim. and he's filling the Federal Reserve's bank balance sheet with a bunch of garbage. But aren't Jim, you you, sorry, go ahead, Mandy. I was going to say, but aren't you actually benefiting from the debasement of the U.S. dollar? You're a huge bull on commodities. Every time yeah. the U.S. dollar goes down, every time he cuts rates, you're actually making money. It's good for me. It's not good for the world. I Listen, if I had my choice, I'd say don't do it. I'd rather not be making money. I would adapt to what he does. You'd rather not be making money? No, I could figure out other ways to make money. Yes, I know, don't worry. Yes, it's good for me. I've sold the dollar. I've, I've owned commodities. Yes, this is good for me. It's not good for the world, and I don't approve of it. I wish he would change. Okay, we're going to get back to you very shortly. Jim Rogers is, of course, staying with us for the whole